August 6th and 9th of 1945 are two of the most notable days in American war history. The days the United States dropped an atomic bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan, killing hundreds of thousands of people, essentially ending World War II in Asia. The bombs themselves were the first use of atomic weapons in warfare in world history, and the development of them can be traced to East Tennessee. Before World War II, this area of East Tennessee was largely farmland, forests, a few small communities. David Keim is a communications director for Oak Ridge National Laboratory. He sat down with us in the graphite reactor exhibit room, right next to the original graphite reactor, which played a key role in the Manhattan Project's research. Keim tells us nuclear fission was discovered in 1938, which essentially allows scientists to split an atom the scientific community understood, this is a big deal. We've discovered a new form of energy, and if someone can control this the right way, it could make a nuclear bomb, which is unlike anything the world has seen before. Keim says it became a race to develop an atomic bomb as Adolf Hitler and Nazi Germany were becoming more powerful. Thus, the Manhattan Project was born in 1942. The Manhattan Project was to harness the atom to create an atomic bomb and to do it faster than Nazi Germany. To do it, the U.S. set up three main locations, Los Alamos, New Mexico, Hanford, Washington, and Oak Ridge, Tennessee, because it's away from the coast, had access to the Tennessee Valley Authority for power, and it was secluded. All three sites had different roles and contributed to developing the atomic bomb. In Knoxville, John Piersos, WVLT News. So the race was on. Those three sites working together to develop the bombs faster than Nazi Germany. We got more on this. Tomorrow we're going to show you what exactly Oak Ridge Lab and Y-12 did to help develop these war-ending bombs.